Okay, welcome back. Just wanted to do this video um, to show off this uh, effects video editing controller. I do think there's a problem with this button here. I wanted to make the seller aware, so I'll share this with the seller. It's not changing from pattern. It's not moving down these uh, selections here. This doesn't seem to do anything either. Maybe that needs a sensor plugging in, but this should definitely do something. Um, I don't know if the switch is dirty um, or there's something else wrong with it. I don't know. Um, I haven't opened it up or anything like that. I want to see what the seller says first before I start messing with it because I'm not sure what to do. How you would go about changing a push button switch. Um, how easy it is to remedy. Now, everything else seems to be working fine. Everything, like some of the volume, this, like if I put the... <laughs> Ironically, it's not doing it now, but can, it's cracking a little bit, so it just needs a bit of uh, switch cleaner. But uh, as you can see, it's, the wipes are all working. It won't focus now, will it? Probably get a content strike for air. Uh, that'll turn the volume down. But you can go through and change the effect and it it will just affect the type of wipe. You've got 60 different types of wipe here. So if I wanted, say, a diamond one, go to 08 if I wanted it fading up from the you, you get the idea it just fades different ways 22 it's that way 23 get across before fades that way 25 like that You see, you see. So, my idea was to try and circuit bend some of these things, but I haven't got a clue what I'm doing. So, I'm not going to attempt anything just yet until I uh, mess about with a few cheaper units and try and get some schematics and stuff. I ain't going to just go in there blindly. You know, soldering or short circuiting things because that's how you blow up chips. Um, getting any sort of information on this unit is impossible, I guess, because I think the company is still going, but um, there's no manuals or anything like that, PDFs or anything like that to download. And it's pretty basic. You've got two channel input. Oh no, that's the audio, sorry. Got the video two channel input here. You can only have one at a time. But you can sort of fade, you know, fade one out and then bring the other one in and then bring it back in with a different fade. You can set up some, uh, where is it here? Effects, I'm not sure how you do that either. I was just messing about and I kind of worked it out how to bring in different effects. And you got full screen and where's the picture gone oh, I've changed that you've got full screen and half uh, split screen so I'll show you this now uh, I can affect if it focuses I can affect half the screen there so you can see by changing these pots here you've got detail brightness contrast so the left hand side is what's been affected and if I press full it affects the whole screen I split just half you can bring the color right down you can basically turn everything down uh, 
this focus. So yeah, you can do that. Uh, the audio is pretty good. You got bass, treble, and middle, and that. Yeah, bass, treble, and middle. That's good. You can affect all. Both audios at the same time. You've got four channel audio in. And uh, yeah, it's pretty good, but it's a it's a beast. It weighs a ton. It's metal. The case is all metal, so it's not the best for. You know, if you were going to circuit bend it and put pots in it, you're going to have a hard time drilling into it. It's going to be messy. But as a unit, it's, it's bloody well made. Um, let's see if I can get this working. So at the moment, all we've got is the the wipe function and um, the the fade function. See, some of these buttons just don't want to work. So if I do this now, it'll just fade out. And you can also put the audio fade on at the same time. So we bring these both on. And I fade out. The audio. It'll fade out the audio and the picture at the same time, which is pretty good. So obviously you've got one tape going into this and then another um recorder on the on the output you can edit your videos together this is old school style of video editing which um i say it takes up a lot of space it takes up a lot of <laughs> sockets i've got four there and i've got another uh, two up there you need plenty of wall sockets and you need plenty of space obviously to lay it all out and then you've got your videos setups and all that so i mean things have progressed um you know with the the digital video editing stuff and this kind of stuff is more obsolete antiquey sort of for enthusiasts more but yeah i do like the wipes and uh i'm pretty sure these can be circuit bent so you can have all these things glitching at the same time but um i'll say i'm not i, I haven't ventured into i haven't tried venture the uh, circuit bending anything yet i've got the sema pro 3 and i've seen people circuit bending that i've got the um other units from uh what is it called The Vanco, they're, they're nice units, pretty basic. Uh, there's more advanced units than this with you know two channels you can blend together and have feedback loops and all sorts of stuff. But I got this one and this one here of the same seller. I haven't tested this one yet, so I'm going to test that now. And then I'm going to send this video or two multiple videos to the seller and, and see what he says. And uh, hopefully, uh, can use these. So this one is a beast, though. I just can't get this button to work at all. No matter, you know. Sometimes you press the corners. Maybe just might not be making a good contact. That's the only thing I can see being the problem there. Let's say some of these buttons here are hit and miss. They seem to be all working now. Let's see. Sometimes they're unresponsive. So it could be the same with that. It could be a case of taking it apart. Um, might be oxidized. It might not be making a good contact. It might just need a bit of cleaning. But um, the seller's put warranty stickers all over it. So I don't really want to be taking it apart. And then him saying, no, you messed with it. You broke it. So, um could show you the warranty stickers in place just to show that I haven't messed with it but <laughs> it's not exactly easy it's a beast right so as you can see 
warranty stickers that the seller put in place are still there. I haven't touched them. It's not down to my doing. This is how I received the unit. And uh, yeah, if anybody's got any information or like, links to where I could find a manual, maybe something I'm not doing right here. Maybe you've got to press two buttons at the same time. I don't know, but I think that should flip down so you can change the edge of the wipe, the speed, and the color, obviously. But it's not doing what it needs to be doing. So that's, that's a bit disappointing, but I'm sure a solution is out there. So thanks for watching. If you've got any info, please leave it down below. And I'll catch you soon with the video title. Bye-bye.